Hello, we are so excited to have you here with us. The purpose of this video is not to answer all of your questions, but instead to help you think about what questions you might want to ask. Yes, that's correct. During this video, you will have the opportunity to learn about three different programs and the communication preferences used. Your participation with any of these three agencies will also help get you connected to the deaf and hard of hearing community, a wonderful, diverse community that will be so happy to welcome you in. My name is Jody Reimer, and I am a uh, family resources coordinator for the deaf and hard of hearing programs in King County. So in King, Pierce, and Snohomish counties, parents have three choices of deaf and hard of hearing early intervention programs that they can choose from. There's family conversations, there's listen and talk, and there's parent infant program. They're experts at what they do and they've really dedicated their whole lives to um, learning this field. They've really been there for every single milestone. They're there as a huge support system. They sort of see you through from the very beginning to where you feel confident as a parent. We really focus on that birth to three time period, that really critical learning period um, for the brain, developing language, social emotional skills, cognitive skills, and self-help skills is the one, is what we really focus on in development. The research is super strong that um, once a child's hearing levels are identified and they get the support that they need and that their family needs to help them learn and, and understand, the kids stay right on track with development. We do a combination of observations, um, coaching, and a little bit of modeling. We want to glean what the parents already do with their kids. Um, our job really is to enhance uh, those activities by giving suggestions and tips about how to make those activities a little bit more robust in language learning and um, auditory skill building. Home visits is the main part of our program because that's the most natural environment. That's where the child lives their life um, in their home. The evidence again is super strong that um, kids learn language by interacting and in meaningful things that are fun for them. So if um, we help families learn these strategies to incorporate them while they're playing, sharing books, singing songs, that's how kids all develop language and communication. The strategies and techniques that we teach parents are not language dependent. They are fluid and are adaptable to any person's language. So we approach each family really uniquely uh, depending on what their home language is. Um, we have interpreters that we work with to provide that bridge um, from their home natural language to um, really understand the techniques and the strategies that we're trying to coach teach and model for those families. We talk about deaf culture and deaf community and that they have a place in deaf community as hearing parents of a child who's deaf or hard of hearing and that the door is open and it's a welcoming, wonderful, beautiful community that is very diverse in how the deaf community access language as well. All three of the programs do a lot of the same things. We all follow and meet and exceed best practices for um, early intervention for families with deaf and hard of hearing children. Each family comes to us with their own vision of what they really want for their child. Our job really is to highlight and create a path that works for that individual family. There's no set recipe and there's no right or wrong. I think we use what parents do best and enhance that. The Parent Infant Program or PIP, supports family communication through American Sign Language, ASL, through English literacy and through spoken language, by using the heritage language of the deaf community, ASL, parents show acceptance of their whole child and develop lasting family bonds that set the stage for healthy family relationships. The Parent Infant Program at the Hearing, Speech, and Deaf Center is an early intervention program for children who are deaf and hard of hearing in their families, ages birth to three. We uh, use a bilingual approach, um, incorporating American Sign Language and English in its four modes. So that includes English spoken, English that we listen to, and then reading and writing. 
Baby brains are like sponges. They take in language, how it's given to them authentically, very, very easily. And parents can totally learn to use another language in their home. They're fully capable of doing it. It's figuring out how it works best for each unique family's home. Listening Talk supports spoken communication through listening to your family's natural spoken language. Each child's family is toast to optimize hearing technology and use auditory strategies that make sound meaningful and enable their child to rely on listening and spoken language to communicate with their family and their community. Our program is known as a Listening and Spoken Language, or LSL, program. My name is Tara Ellis, and I am the lead Birth to Three provider at Listen and Talk. The purpose of an in-home visit is to really partner with parents um, to determine what it is that they love to do with their kids, to make communication joyful, and to integrate techniques and strategies that we know are um, advantageous to develop spoken language skills through listening. Family Conversations supports a way of communicating and interacting that integrates both spoken and visual language. Families are coached to support listening and talking with the use of signing exact English, also known as C. C allows you to talk and sign at the same time with your whole family. My name is Jill Bargonis and I coordinate Family Conversations. It's designed to support listening and talking in English and reading and writing in English. And we find it's a really great way to start interacting with younger kids, with babies and toddlers who aren't ready to read and write, but who might be missing some of those key parts of English so their parents can add them while they're talking and playing as they learn. So C sign, what, what we call C sign, signing exact English, is um, basically the English language um, on the hands, visual signed English. We use that combined communication approach program where we're helping families um, start communicating immediately and see how does my child learn best, how do I interact best with them so that they can develop really strong um, communication and relationships and so that really truly that their child can be included in all of their family conversations. Through our um, early support for infant and toddlers um, state system that we have, we receive referrals for families, and then they're given the opportunity to pick from our three programs. It's not just one path that we offer for families, it's what works best for each individual family. I would say that to each family that you know your family activities, your family values, and what you want for your family and kids. So finding a program and system that supports that and you is really the most important thing. If a family wants to change programs um, at any time during their tenure and early intervention, uh, we understand that. My name is Dana and um, our daughter is part of the program Listen and Talk. For us, spoken language was the path that we felt would best fit. A typical therapy session is they'll come in and we'll sort of recap what Anna's done for the week and um, we'll look ahead to what her goals are, you know, her short-term goals with her long-term goals in mind. You know, we'll just incorporate those strategies into playtime and mealtime and, you know, getting dress routine and leaving the house routine. And so, you know, it just becomes part of what we do every moment of the day and we'll include songs you know there'll be songs about getting in the car and songs about brushing your teeth and songs about bath time and so they really give you the tools to just be able to take those strategies and weave them into everything that you do i'm joanna i'm nicholas and we participated in the family conversations program when we were presented with the option family conversations felt like a program that could um, help us bridge to either exclusively signing or exclusively oral and we really wanted to follow uh, Lewis's lead and his preference as he got older. The most helpful part of the programming is incorporating language into play. It's important to um, just engage in play because it's a natural forum for language development. So yeah, Roberta just came to our house. Every two weeks she would come to our house for I think one hour. He adjusted very well to his hearing aids, prefers to wear them, prefers to use his voice, and 
we also really, I think, benefited from having C as a communication tool. I feel like we've carried those lessons forward to um, our younger son who doesn't have hearing loss but also needs support for language development. My name is Kendra Climo and I am a part of the Parent Infant Program. When they offered the HSDC to me, it was spoken language and ASL, and that's exactly what I wanted for her. The ability to speak, whether it be nonverbal or verbal. There's gonna be times where she can't wear her hearing aids, so I still need to be able to communicate with her. Or if she grows up um, later on in life and chooses that she does not want to wear hearing aids, period, and she would just rather um, sign, then that's the way we'll go as well. Our early interventionist comes in for an hour and a half. When she comes in, we initially just play with Aaliyah, kind of follow her lead, and then as she goes off and kind of does her own thing, then we kind of converse and talk about goals. What do we want to do in the next visit? What we want to do as far as spoken language? Do we want to include the whole family? Do we just want to include myself and the child? Start now, and she'll be set up for the future. We know that when our parents feel capable and confident, that the love and joy of communication really is the catalyst that brings them to a place of success in their life. We have found that it's super important to, to start early, to, to choose a program and get started as soon as you can, knowing that if it ends up not being a good fit, you can always switch to another program that might meet your needs better. Um, and I also love to see children thrive and just be thrilled with themselves and be able to communicate their needs and wants to their parents clearly and um, break down frustrations and allow for really important cognitive development to happen through language. This is a big decision for parents and, and I want to let them know that all three agencies are so experienced in this population of birth to three children. Every one of the three programs is, is so knowledgeable, so experienced, and as a parent you will benefit from any one of the three programs and your child will flourish. There is no wrong decision. Every family's journey with young children is unique. Get started on your family's unique journey today by reaching out to the Family Resources Coordinator for the county that you live in. In addition to meeting with your coordinator and asking them questions, you will also have the opportunity to meet with each agency before making your decision. We know that you have many questions. Your Family Resource Coordinator and the staff of our three programs will do our best to answer as many questions as we can. We look forward to meeting you and your family soon.